Good morning, good morning. Sorry about that froggy throat. It is a Wednesday and welcome back to my vlog. Uh, my name is Aretha and I eat low carb, high fat. I eat keto, I eat carnivore and all that in between. So we're going to get this day started and check out what I brought along with me. Okay, this is what I have with me for today because, <clears throat> oh, again, excuse me, today is a fat fasting day, so I have some coconut oil, I have some coffee, and I have some electrolyte water that I'm going to be drinking on throughout the whole day. So my goal is to have no more than maybe two and a half cups of coffee and I'm going to be getting all my fat in today and drinking a ton of water. So I will be taking you guys with me on that journey. So stay tuned and I will be back. Good morning, you guys. I thought I would take this time to actually have a little chat with you about what's going on with me. I have mentioned before that my, um, excuse me macros have changed and they have i am working with someone to adjust my keto macros so that um i can start going into more fat burning mode so i'm going to give you a little back history on me so 2013 i decided to have the gastric bypass um at that point i was considered probably super morbidly obese. I'm only 4'11", and at that point I was like two, I'm going to say 258, and it was hard for me to get around, um, do walking, stairs, just everything was bad, and my daughter was really worried about my health, and at that point I really didn't know anything about the ketogenic diet or low carb and all that stuff. So I kind of went into panic mode and got the gastric bypass. Now, I'm not going to say I regret it because it did help me to slim down quite a bit. Um, but had I known any better, um, I probably first off would have tried low carb and transitioning on to keto to see if that would have helped and got me a really good coach to work with me. So fast forward to now, um, um, along with already having issues from having my gastric bypass, again, it was a good thing, but I was left with a lot of digestive issues. Um, here's some TMI, but I get severe constipation. Um, I have malabsorption. So now working with that along with I transition into menopause, which brings on some other issues within itself. So combining all those things into having adrenal fatigue, you can see where it will be difficult to actually start wrapping your head around trying to figure out macros that work for my body. Cause I have to be able to absorb things and to get in nutrients. So and I have the malabsorption issue. Um, there are times where it is really difficult to get in the amount of protein I need because sometimes I can't really eat that much due to having a surgery. And if I'm not eating that much and I'm already not absorbing a whole lot like I'm supposed to, um, problems, you know, there are the problems. So I got my macros readjusted um, and I'm working within that. And so far... It's only been a few days, but it's going pretty well. Um, and today is my fat fasting day. I can have at least about two cups of coffee. I'm drinking water with some um, electrolytes in it. And I'm eating fats around the clock, a scheduled time. So I will show some of them, but not all of them. That would be pretty boring for you to, me to sit, you sit here and watch me eating you know, like teaspoons of fat. So that would be a little bit boring. 
but it is my fat fasting day. And then um, what I've been given is a range for my macros. It's not like, oh, you have to eat this certain amount. It is a range that I can stay within on any given day, depending on my hunger, and a way to help me get in a lot of my um, fats and proteins is I have to, if I see I'm running low, add in a protein shake. So I'm still very much keto, but I have, I'm having to do it a little bit differently because of my issues. So I'm going to um, stick with this and see where it takes me. I'm excited for this new part of the journey. And um, I'll, again, I'm going to be announcing something that I've just started. And I've been saying that for a while. But it will probably happen on this video and a little bit later. But for now, I'm, again, working with some different macros. And... I will be drinking my coffee and my water and you will see some of that throughout the day but again i don't want to bore anyone so it is still morning and i need to get back to work but i hope you all are having a wonderful start to your day and i will be checking in a little bit later Okay, everyone, I am back to sort of wrap things up. Today was a good day, even though I was fasting. Um, like I said, this is um, a new protocol for me. And I'm thinking maybe after two weeks or so, maybe changing up my fasting days because Wednesdays is the day I vlog. So, um, or either changing my vlogging days. I don't know. One of the two. So that when I vlog, it's not so boring where you're just seeing me doing a fat fast. So, um, I want to talk about um, what I have been saying. Oh, I have news for you guys and all of that. So, what I finally did was started my own business yes i have one more small step to go i already got the business license and blah -de blah -de blah so and i'm incredibly happy and excited and nervous and all of that and it's just um gonna be a home business bakery home business just something small and who knows what that will blossom into but i'm excited for it and it's called Seattle Sapphire's Low Carb World. So don't be surprised in the future if you also see a channel name change just to kind of sync the two. So I'm not having two channels, which will make really no sense. So I'm excited for that to see where it takes me. Um, other than that, I don't have too many more updates. Um, but I do... Um, appreciate you guys coming back week after week to see my full day of eating and what's going on with me. Um, um, if you haven't, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, give my this video a thumbs up. Um, leave me a message. I love communicating with you guys. And I will be back for another full day of eating. Have a wonderful rest of your day.